AITA for telling my friend I can't attend her birthday event if my emotionally damaging ex would be there? I, F28, dated an emotionally harmful narcissist, M28, for nearly three years before we eventually had an unpleasant breakup early 2023. He would boast about being the most successful slash smartest person he knew, including me, belittle major achievements, getting into grad school, and criticize me about my body, being in therapy, taking antidepressants, and anything else under the sun. He would yell, slam doors, lecture me for hours, and manipulate me to the point where I started having memory lapses. My self-esteem was slowly stripped away, and I've been left with years of trauma to process. Of course, there were a lot of good times, most of them being with his best friend and his best friend's wife, we'll call them Bob and Linda, early 30s. Linda and I got close over the years as we were all constantly having date nights and took several trips together. We eventually started hanging out just the two of us. Throughout the breakup, she was a ride or die and made sure I knew it in no way affected our friendship. I'm good friends with Bob as well, but always painfully aware that he's my ex's best friend. Last week, Bob sent out an invite for a beach day for Linda's birthday. I checked the guest list and my ex was also invited. I texted Linda and told her since he'll likely be there, I wouldn't be able to make it. Instead, I'd love to take her out to dinner, just the two of us. She agreed and said she hopes one day I could be around him, but didn't push the issue. Bob texted me shortly after saying Linda really wants me there, and he hopes I'll reconsider because I'm important to both of them. I politely told him my mind was made up. I saw Linda that Friday and confirmed again in person that missing the event was okay, and she said it was, but worries about bigger events like a potential baby shower. Her and Bob have been trying to conceive for years, and I reassured her that there was nothing in the world that could keep me from coming to her baby shower, even if it were co-ed. I'd previously told Bob I'd come to theirs for Sunday dinner the same weekend but was not aware of the discussion I'd get. He told me that he and Linda don't even see me as being associated with my ex and anymore, that my ex has moved on and doesn't talk about it anymore, and that there's no reason to believe attending the same event would cause any issues. Bob and Linda don't know everything about our relationship, but they know plenty. Linda eventually told him to drop it when he persisted to the point of me being in tears. I told him it was frustrating that I've moved on romantically, but that I still have years of emotional harm to work through. The whole attack felt like Bob was saying everyone else had moved on and questioned why I couldn't as well. Part of me feels like I should just deal with it and attend the event, while knowing that seeing my ex not having a care in the world after traumatizing me would set me back months. Another part is wondering if true friends would ever ask this of me. Ita, 